Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Bricklotty Octomore right up Bart's alley. In my alley. Not only heavily peated, the most heavily peated. Per parts per million. And That's we're right. going to talk about when sharks attack. Ugh. Let's, Let's test it. Test it. Test it. Bruno sharks, tell me about your phobia. Oh, well, it's not a phobia. It's a phobia. I don't, there's been a lot of shark attacks uh, lately. Like eight. On the eastern coast. No, it's higher than that. Eight. No. I'm going, there's at least 13. 13 out of how many people in the United States? 22 or so. 225 million people. 13 no, of them have had that's shark fine. Yeah, I know. And I've been to the ocean and I swim in the ocean. Sure. But most recently, someone was attacked in the water on a beach, okay, yes. they shut it down, Right. they come in, EMS, patch him up, evacuate him, Right. open the beach up, Good. people are right back in the water. I'm right in there. No. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's you would not know you There's would. been 13. I know you and you're I'm foolish. in it. I'm you're full of it. I, are you a diver? I'm a certified diver. No. I've dove. I'm telling you, you're not going. I know I'm you. And you are not going back in that water right after somebody's attacked by a shark. They've been attacked. Now, if you're the one attacked, boom. But after that, oh yeah, no. okay. Well, if so, if you're attacked, you're not going back in the water. After I heal up, <laughs> <laughs> but like shark. right away, within 30 minutes. I'm talking about people. There's a shark. Someone's attacked. There's limbs. There's blood. The horror. It's it's everywhere. And then you're just gonna be like, eh, someone got hurt. I'm in, baby. No, you wouldn't. The odds that two people get bit on the same beach in the same year, let alone the same day, as soon as that dude's bit, the odds are in my favor. Yeah, the numbers that, are shark, that shark's done. He's happy. I got my guy. Did you see that guy? <laughs> I'm out of here. Right. I'm just telling you, the odds. You yeah. jump in your car every day. 30,000 people die every year in automobile accidents. That's your risk. Not this yeah, beach here with we go, the, the automobile accident deal. I'm, I'm just, just telling you, I know you. You're not getting back in the water. In the water. Beach. In it. I, I so. want to go do that deal where they pet the shark's nose and the shark like goes into a trance. Have you seen that? You oh, talking about the dolphins? New. I have not white. seen it. Great white and tigers. Pet tigers the nose are mean. of the shark. Tigers are mean, mean. You pet the nose of the shark. Apparently all their like sensory sonar, whatever's in there. And the shark goes all docile, and it's like it's in a trance, which is what this uh, octopus. I'm all about shark do. week. I'm all about, I'm all about shark week. This you go down in the cage, and yeah. you see the sharks. I'll do that. Right. I just did a hell of a transition. But I'm not going. This if somebody gets attacked on a beach, I'm not getting back in the water. This octomore is going to put me into a trance. First of all, you had a little trailer there. Look how this coats the glass. This is phenomenal. You poured me a lot, but that's good. That's because it's yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's your drink. It is. I mean, it is. Now, here's the deal. This is deceptive. I've got my notes, but they came down. I don't even need it. This nose does not scream peat. Hmm. Not parts of I don't know what you're getting. This is supposedly uh, the most heavily peated scotch in parts per million. Yes, it is. Ever. It lists the parts per million. Yeah. It's PPM is 167. I smell Bondo. Now, it's I will Bondo. tell you, Bart tells me, he when, when Bart tasted this and gave it to me, he goes, it doesn't really, it's not that strong. It doesn't smell like peat. And mm -hmm. I'm like, whatever. I can smell peat. It's strong. I get I more from a Lafroy cast strength on the nose. It does seem like, I will, I will agree with you on that. It does seem like the Lafroy is a much harsher peat. I don't know why. Maybe it's so strong that it's it just not harsh. as it used like blanket. No, it's harsh. <laughs> no, I love it. All right, but it, it, what I expected was a peat ball. No. Yes. No, there's no peat here. There's hardly any peat. Come on. I'm getting a bondo. And I'm getting a siren in the background if you can hear it. All right, but I'm not getting a peat bomb out of this. Yes. There is a lot of peat. And right there, it just ran up into there's my nose. It was like horseradish. There's peat on the flavor profile, yes. The nose does not scream peat. It does. 
There's a hint of Pete in there. I don't know what's wrong with like those senses. Well, I'm the Pete master. I know it. Or I love it. Now, there's a big Pete the, front end as soon as you taste it. As soon as it goes in your mouth, you're getting some Pete. I will tell you, it is it's smoother. Oh. It is smoother than a Lafroig. I don't know what you mean by that, because I think Lafroig smooth is all get out. No. But I will tell you, it's it's unique. For the parts per million, I thought it was going to be an ashtray. This is not an I, ashtray. I did expect more. Right. Um, from the billing, from the advertisement, from the talk of it being the strongest heated scotch out there. <clears throat> and having had Lafroig, I expected a lot more. There's still a lot here. Uh, Bart thinks it's mild. I don't know where he gets that at because it's still very strong. It really is. The nose is mild. The, the peat, trust me, I just about choked myself on the peat. <laughs> In your mouth, there's a strong, mm -hmm. strong peat. But it doesn't come at you like, like an Ardbeg or a Lafroy. It's just not as harsh. I mean, yeah. I know. I, I guess still, I don't use harsh, but I'm it's just... It's still strong. It's still there. And actually, I said it was like horseradish. I would move through my mouth and into my nose. Actually, I have it in my nose, and I didn't see this from when I first tasted it. I put, I could feel a small sip coursing through my mouth <laughs> like The Matrix. <laughs> the movie The Matrix, where he... The, Hopefully he the first... Turns into looks like the liquid metal when he takes the pill. Yes. You know, take the red pill or the blue pill, and he takes it, and he like it. The graphics goes through and it shows this liquid metal type thing. He's turning into it. That's what it feels like. Right in my notes, I've got auto body putty, which is the Bondo. Floral. I've never tasted not, auto body. You don't auto taste it. I'm on the nose, putty. brother. All right. And then no real peat that was in the nose. I get a bit of it, but not a lot. But as soon as we move into, into the taste, I get a peat. But again, I say it's not an ashtray peat. It's smooth. It's smoky. It's rounded. It has depth. It's delicious. On the end, I get a, a mesquite lingering aftertaste. And the mouthfeel is clingy with a little bit of sting in the cheek. And that's got to be, I don't know, what's the ABV on this? 57%. That's why I'm getting the sting in the cheek. So, um... I mean, you talk about smooth, but that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I would like I would like to talk about how harsh it is being the strongest peated scotch there is, but it's not. It's pretty smooth. It's probably next to next to any of the others, the Lafroigs, the Ardbegs. I would choose this one. Hmm. Would be a good it, I mean, there's some that by the time I get done with my first drink, I, I'm really begging for it to be over. <laughs> I send and him, it's, just, it's just not that way with this. I sent him the Lefroig 10-year cast strength, and he was like, ugh, ugh. Uh, right, and I'm like, please don't drink too much of it. And he's like, don't worry. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's one of my favorites. So No, and actually, I had this for a while, and I didn't. I had my one or two little drinks from it. Now, it's I'm aged sure only still... five years. Only five years. Is so really? Lefroig has been aged 10. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Brooke Lottie's doing some kind of magic. I'm mm -hmm. just telling you. It's crazy hmm. magic. So this has been in five years. The more heavily peated, usually the longer it'll sit in a cask, and the more it sits in the cask, the more that peat mellows. Oh, okay. but I mean, this is a this is where this is amazing. It's been in five years. It's got 167 ppm parts per million on the peat. But now, how do, I mean, how do they do? It's been five years, but they charge. It's a premium bottle of scotch. It's $180? Yeah, it's expensive. But it's aged five years. I don't know what they're and doing. It's good. I'm telling you, it's like, it's like Hogwarts. <laughs> oh, call back. Oh, call back the one we had Cousin Shane on. Yeah, it's like uh, Harry Potter. It's like Volgamond. <laughs> I can't remember the bad guy's name, but he's supposed to be dangerous and deadly. All right. Um, so bring it back in. Um, I like your shirt. You got the whiskey fabric. I like yours. Thank you. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. We've got a flask that we're giving away September what? 15th is what you said. September 15th. Subscribe. No, 2015. September 15th, 2015. 
Bart will choose a random number generator and one of our subscribers right. is going to win this doer's flask. So jump on. It's a real nice hip flask, copper color hip flask. And uh, we finally reviewed the, uh, the Octomore. Awesome. All right. Um, and Bart's going swimming with the sharks again. Yeah, no problem with that at all. None. None. We'll test that theory someday. Mm -hmm. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and we got Brooke Lottie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm drunk as hell. Yeah, it's the Scotch <laughs> Test Dummies. That was an intentional. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Got your two best friends hanging around. Shh, over there. <laughs> Off camera, hush. <laughs> oh, like I didn't know. All right, here we go. Go ahead. You're doing great. <laughs>